Please state your name. Linda Blake. How long have you been a teacher? 36 and a half years. What school system do you currently teach in and in what grade? I'm with Norfolk Public School System and I teach self-contained kindergarten. How long have you worked at this school? 36 and a half years. How long have you worked with children this age? Um, probably 38 years. Do you find it more difficult to teach at a school like Granby Elementary where it is so racially diverse? No, I find it a lot easier. Who would you say is the minority here at Granby Elementary? Um, currently, I would say the Hispanic children are in the minority here. Have you ever seen a difference in teaching styles or philosophies towards those children? Mm, not in the regular classroom, but they do get singled out, especially if there's um, a language difficulty for um, additional help with the uh, ESL teachers. Have you ever experienced a race being referred away from this school due to the high amount of diversity? No, probably just the opposite. A lot of the children in the city can opt to come into this school. During your teaching career, have you ever witnessed a situation of racism by a teacher? Not that I can recall that affected a student at all. Have you ever witnessed racism between the children? Um, the racism between the children isn't so much based on their race as I think it is their, their social cliques and their groupings, how they perceive each other and their friends, not so much based on their race. What is the youngest age you have ever witnessed this act among the children? Um, in our school, I think the students that are older, the fourth and fifth graders, um, often express themselves and their feelings a little more than the little ones. So I would say maybe 10 or 11 years old, they begin to be more verbal about things that are going on for them. Have you ever witnessed a case of racism or bullying due to a child's economic status? Racism or bullying? Mm, perhaps bullying, but I don't know that the children understand the economic status part of it. But the older kids, you know, the, the teasing becomes a part of bullying and if, and they can perceive that if you don't have what you need or want, mm -hmm. they might, you might be teased because of that. Okay, well that's all I have. Thank you.